Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today it's up and running with the Moza Air 2. First of all, I am terribly sorry about my voice. Um, I am a little bit sick but I want to do this video as soon as possible so I'm sorry about my voice. So everyone, the first thing that you need to do to use this gimbal is putting a camera on it. As you can see, I already put the plate on my DSLR and you can see that I am using my big grip uh, just to make things a little bit harder. And yeah, let's put this on the gimbal. Now, make sure that you are in front of the gimbal, okay? So this, the, the raw motor is facing you. The tilt motor, it's on your right. And let's slide the camera in. Now you already heard the first click and you have to push it until you hear the second click. There we go, nice. Now I'm gonna push this thing all the way up to lock. And there we go. Now as you can see, this gimbal it's not balanced. It's normal that it's not balanced. So the second step it's balance this bad boy. To make these things easier, we're gonna lock here this thing over here so it, it won't roll. There we go. And now we can focus balancing the tilt. As you can see, it's falling uh, to the back. So I'm gonna put the gimbal as so, and it's falling to the back. So let's unscrew this thing here and push it a little bit down, a little bit down until the gimbal holds itself up. Let's lock this. So the tilt, it's balanced. So if the camera stands up like this, it's balanced. So let's balance if you, you should advance the camera or not. As you can see, the camera is falling on the back. That means that's way too much weight on the back. So I'm gonna unscrew this bad boy over here and push the camera a little bit to the front. Up. A little bit more to the front. Now it's falling to the front. And I guess it's good. Now, it should hold on any position by itself. Nice. And now, it's the raw. So let's unlock this guy. And as you can see, the camera immediately falls to the left. That means that there is too much weight on the left. So let's push it, this arm, a little bit to the right until it balance itself. There we go. And I guess we are good. The next axis that I want to balance should be this one. Now, to see if this one is balanced or not, you just have to incline, give an angle to the gimbal. So let's push it here. And as you can see, the camera, it's fallen on this direction. That means that it's too much weight on this direction so let's push this a little bit back and test it again still a little bit way too much weight on the front let's push it a little bit to the back there we go verify that the gimbal it's properly balanced you can go here to the menu go down to advance click on the right to get in on advance select balance check again to the right to get in now the gimbal will make its own test and at the end will show the result if everything is well balanced it should look like this so another thing that i'm going to do it's Use this cable, okay? Let me just plug in this cable. Check which cable is compatible with your camera. And it has the plug-in over here. And let's plug this over here. And there we go. Now, to turn on the gimbal, long press on the rec button or the power button. And there we go, it's on. Now. Let me just turn on the camera and put the camera in full manual mode because it won't work properly if it's not in full manual mode. 
now that your camera is connected to the gimbal, you can start and stop the recordings by pressing the record button, but as well other features of exposure. For example, if you press up and rotate the wheel, you can control the shutter speed by pressing down and rotating. Again, it's the aperture and to the left, it's the ISO. Just for giggles, let's explore a little bit the app. So let's go to Moza R2, connect, connect and enter and there we go now it's saying on the top there that there is new updates so it's good to know that you can check out if you have any updates or not directly on the app so you can actually in gimbal settings you can make some calibrations some updates and stuff like that directly here but just for fun for giggles let's go to create a video and as you can see there is the tracking option over here that you can use let's go back and in remote control i really like this remote control because you can control the gimbal like so okay tap to recenter recenter and now this is a new feature that come out really recent to this gimbal is you have the mimic mode so if you press the mimic mode okay let's start and as you can see now the gimbal copies the movement of your phone hey modes air 2 should they subscribe to this youtube channel yes they should yes so there is a really cool video explaining how this gimbal works in extreme detail but what I'm gonna do is just show you the basic stuff behind you have a trigger if I double trap if I double trigger double tap really quick it resets its own position if you triple trigger you will be in selfie mode so the trigger also has another feature if you hold the trigger the tilt will become also in follow really cool thing to to use because sometimes you you want just to lock the tilt very very fast and you don't want to press three times over here it's complicated because you have the grip on here just press it and it will lock this is really nice if the gimbal it's vibrating it's doing something really strange you can press in the fn button for a few seconds and will do a small tuning it will shake really awkwardly but uh, yeah it's tuning everything and uh, yeah let's let's leave let's wait that the process it's finished so now we have here a joystick okay and i can play with the joystick so i can pan left okay i can tilt really easily and there is a option to roll uh, but I'm going to show you this feature a little bit after because the joystick cannot do that, okay? As you can see, the pan is in follow mode and the tilt and the roll is in locked. That means if I tilt the camera or roll the camera, it will stay locked in place except the pan. Let me just, as you can see, if I pan, the gimbal will follow. Pretty damn simple. Now, if I want to change that, if I want the pan to be locked, really damn simple. Just one click on the joystick, as you can see, now it's locked. That means if I pan it, it will stay in place. I can change also the tilt in the raw, really simple. If I want the roll, I just double tap. Now it's in follow mode. Double tap again to be in lock. And uh, also I can lock the tilt, triple tap, and it's in follow and triple tap, and it's in lock. Also you can press in FN, and as you can see, it's in quick mode. That means that the pan, you can use it really quickly. I really like this feature to make some fast action thing, okay? Also you have what modes are called inception mode. Double tap, and there is inception mode. Uh, usually you use this a little bit differently, but you can start to see it moving. And the cool thing is you can control the speed 
of the inception mode and you can go activate it manually so it will rotate by itself how cool is that inception mode it's not really my couple of tea but if you want to use this feature it's really cool now the menu button over here it changes what this wheel will do so for now it's in tilting mode as you can see the camera tilts okay and if i press it now i control the raw the roll like so and if i press it again now it's the panorama it's the pan now the f1 and the f2 it's accessories that you can attach with this gimbal and it will work on that so for the moment it won't do anything now the fe menu i have no idea what it means fe but it's a really cool thing if your lens is compatible if your camera it's compatible you can do a really cool thing and i can focus using the ring over here how cool is that really really nice as you can see also here there is this wheel if you are a canon user you will get used to this really damn fast with this wheel you can change the power of the motors really simple like so in the center button over here i can make a long press and and the gimbal goes in standby mode so in this mode save between cuts you can save some battery there and to reactivate it long press over here as well and there we go really simple now if i press one time over here you have the menu and you can explore the menu you can navigate by pressing up and down but i really would like that it would work also with the wheel like you do in canon menus because it's much easier like so okay to get out of the menu you have to just press again you get out of the menu okay and as you can see this camera it's extremely this camera <laughs> and as you can see this gimbal it's extremely easy to use that is the first thing that it's great now the really cool thing about this thing is that i can do 19 percent of the features of this gimbal i can do it directly here on this menu this is great now talking about time lapse you guys ask for it let me just show you how the time lapse feature works with this bad boy if you know me you know that i love a lot time lapses today there is no clouds on the sky the sky it's flat it's a blue flat so i decided to make a time lapse of people moving around i have to point out as well that the gimbal it's not leveled if i put it in standby you can see that it it falls down why? Because I added a filter and I am zooming in a little bit. We usually, I will try to balance this correctly. As this is a review, I'm gonna use the worst scenario as possible. So let's wake it up and let's do this time lapse. So here in the app, well, for this, you have to use the app. Here in the app, let's go to creative video. There is a lot of things that you can do. So let's make a motion time lapse at a point that I want to start up there okay if you are not comfortable using the graphic you also can use the joystick but i really like the graphic so let's add a second point let's select the second point let's move it all the way over there now add that everything it's set up let's make how long it will be the shutter speed so let's put two seconds confirm the shutter interval will be of three seconds confirm you need to add around one second one second and a half more than the shutter time so like this the gimbal have the time to move it around now i want the video duration to be 15 seconds and the cool thing about this app it's it will make all the calculations for you really damn nice so let's make just a preview and as you can see it's rotating the wrong way around so i need to add another point here so i'm gonna add the second point right over here and the third point will be over there let's preview this there we go i'm gonna shut down the live view of my camera and uh yeah let's start 
pretty damn simple. So as you may observe now in the screen, it's saying the shooting time taken. So one minute and a half by now and the, the remaining shooting time. There we go. And the cool thing is that you can lock the phone and listen to music via Bluetooth and the app will work fine in the background. It's damn cool. So everyone, here we go. Really simple and easy to use gimbal. Now, if you have any questions, leave it down below on the comments. If you learned something, drop a like on this video and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I am Miguel, until next time, see ya!